Hey, shalom, my friends. So we're over here at the place in the uh, Garden Tomb, right outside the walls of Jerusalem, and uh, and this is what uh, some have uh, thought might be actually Golgotha, the place of the skulls. You can see behind me. Uh, I don't think it looks much like a skull to me, but it's the place where Jesus potentially was crucified. So there's several places in Israel that claim that. This one, oddly enough, is right outside a bus depot. <laughs> A rather large bus depot. So, very cool, very fascinating stuff. So I just want to jump online and share that with you real quick. And, and uh, you know, uh, it's a, just a very beautiful garden here. It's very peaceful. <laughs> and um, they have all these little beautiful scripture stones and things here. I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered in the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2 9. So, so what is it that hasn't entered into your heart that God has prepared for you? For me, you want to know what it is? It was this trip to Israel. <laughs> I dreamed of it and I'd hoped for it. I had no idea how to even plan it out or what to do. And my friend, neighbor Tim across the street, felt like God gave him a vision and a, a dream to take me to Israel. So I could do what I'm doing right now to teach from these historic locations where the Bible talks about, teach from these spots. And I'm really actually overwhelmed. I'm kind of astounded and surprised. Uh, and yet here I am. Tim had faith. He believed what the Lord told him. He didn't have any money. And uh, he raised the money, called and raised the money to bring us to Israel. <clears throat> and here we are. And now a vision and a dream of a bigger thing has developed. I've met dozens of people here that we're going to build relationships with ministry-wise to help support people who are doing a great work for the kingdom in the land of Israel, uh, One for Israel, uh, Messianic Synagogues, uh, the Calvary Chapel. We're going to meet with some of the Calvary Chapel Bible College guys uh, for, for Passover tonight. And we've met the Christ Church guys. We've met a whole bunch of people that the Lord's given us a divine appointment to meet with and to talk to and, and maybe build ministry opportunities with down the road. So open the eyes of your understanding. Decide and say, Father, what is it What is it you've called me to do that I haven't been doing? That maybe I let fear and doubt and unbelief enter my heart and kind of shy away from it. Uh, maybe it's something small. Maybe it's uh, teaching a Sunday school class at your congregation. Maybe it's uh, helping out a neighbor and loving people. But, you know, we all have a responsibility to share the gospel of peace and truth with those around us. And maybe it's just opening your mouth, opening your eyes and saying, Lord, here am I send me where might he send you uh later next month i'll be traveling to honduras with my best friend from high school james michael hackney and his wife jill and my wife debbie will be retired from walgreens and be joining us and we're gonna go down to honduras and we're gonna look into investing in missions and developing schools down there and asking people to get involved help out uh and help support people all around the world for the gospel and the truth of spreading the word of the living God, opening hearts and minds. And uh, so just just stay prayerful, stay open. Who knows what God might do in your life? I bet he's got things you haven't even dreamed up yet. It's gonna be so much fun.